On this episode, the Impala gets some awesome ride tech suspension. adjustable coilover kit for this car. We like it because it drops the car two inches and it's fully adjustable. You can adjust your ride height right here. The coil spring retainer also acts as a nut to adjust your ride height, so it's pretty rad. Then on top of the shock itself goes a little cap and it adjusts the rebound of the shock so you can have um, varied stiffness. It's gonna be sweet. We've got our adjustable coilover shock uh, hanging out here on the upper shock mount. And now we're going to install the upper A-arm and the lower A-arm. All right, we've got the passenger side upper A-arm here. Just gonna slide onto the bolts. And put it down. Oh, made a loud noise. Breaking that bushing free. <laughs> okay, upper A arm is in. Got these cool spacers that slide in the bottom of the shock where the lower control arm slides over. It slides in. Here. Saddle in. I know I'm gonna go back and put a lock and washer on that. Don't worry. I looked up to see if my uh, nut on the other side was aligned, to, and I moved it, and all this dirt fell out in my eye. <laughs> it was highly intelligent. <laughs> oh, is that? Hold it there. Yeah. Let it go back. I think I got it. <laughs> Cameraman and third hand. Dang, babe. You guys. I got other skills for you too, but we just can't show them on this camera. I'm familiar with those skills. <laughs> <laughs> Control arm is in. This is a bolt-in kit. The only thing we had to adjust was uh, the top shock mount has to be drilled out to a three-quarter inch hole. So we just got a stepped up drill bit and drilled it out. And uh, the top of the shock goes through the shock mount. Factory location. Upper A arm bolted in, lower A arm bolted in, control arm. And yeah, let's put our bolt on top. Okay, upper and lower control arms are in. The adjustable shock looks super sexy in here. If this thing handles 
half as awesome as it looks will be set. Okay, so we have a situation on our hands. The girls were trying to take off the shock and the nut actually stripped out. We were able to hold the shock, but it, it's literally spinning on there and we've got about a quarter inch gap. So I'm just gonna cut that off. Also the sway bar is having an issue. Uh, for whatever reason, you know, the head's rounded off. This shit's old, it happens. So I'm gonna put my earplugs in here, get a sip of beer, and then we're on the go. Okay, that's got it. Now we'll take our little spring compressor tool, push it up in the bottom, get that spring out of there, and get it far away from me because I don't like those bastards. They scare me, honestly. Got all of our rear suspension components laid out on this little table here and we're just kind of going over our instructions to be sure we have all of the bolts and washers and sleeves that we need so looking good ready to get this stuff installed okay we have our upper control arm we just grab that right here strong arm and it's supposed to be set at 13.75 okay jam nut is locked down so i'm assuming they have it where we need so, do they? That is 13 inches and three quarter, which is 13 centimeters. Sweet. <laughs> I just. <laughs> My glove is just saying not nice things to me this morning. Come on, bro. <laughs> What is going on, dude? We're going to start with the upper strong arm. When Pro Touring Texas did the sandblasting and epoxying, on this whole undercarriage, which it looks awesome, everything looks brand new, but it's it's actually original and old to the car. But um, it's it makes it hard, that thick epoxy makes it hard to get your socket on the nut sometimes. And then it's tight all the way through across the threads because the epoxy's thick on there. But does it look pretty? Yes, it does. <laughs> these two parts. So this is the strong arm from Ride Tech and obviously it's smaller and it's going to handle a lot better because this is more going to be more rigid. This obviously that polyurethane bushing is going to be a lot better. 
this old guy, poor thing, it's like stretched and the bushings are cracked and it is more bulky, but there's not a lot of weight difference. Uh, I watched an episode on Hot Rod Garage where they did the suspension upgrades on the Crusher Camaro and they weighed the difference in the stock pieces versus the aftermarket pieces and it's not a lot but it's obviously going to handle a lot better it's going to be more rigid and less you know body roll and things like that so i'm stoked i think it's going to be awesome Bye bye on the upper strong arm and then we'll be moving on to the two lower strong arms. Yo. Okay, we need some lube. Yep. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I think you want a rag because I don't want to get it on my strong arm. I will find your rag. Come on, okay. That dog's pretty soft, just wipe it on him. <laughs> okay, I need you to rotate my curl around for me a little bit. Alright, get that started down in there. Okay, get it started. Where's your strong bar? I don't know. Get it, babe. Get some. Got <laughs> you got rear end juice all over your hands. I know. Fine. I mean, grease. There it is. Now we're talking. All right, now my I'm hands all oily. I don't even know if I can hold this pot. <laughs> okay, a little bit back. Hmm. Yeah, you got a little excited there. Talk about strong arm, man. I went too far. <laughs> Just like with the upper strong arm back here, one end has the poly bushing and the other end is the solid heim joint. And we're really excited because that is going to really change the way the car handles, especially going from the dry cracked rubber, <laughs> both ends being those bushings. One end is a bushing and the other end is solid. And this, this unit is also adjustable, which is sweet because if we decide to go lower with the car, we can always bring it down a little bit adjust it out, make sure the car tracks straight. It's gonna be sweet. Hand hard bar is going in. Hand hard. Hand hard, not hand soft. All right, Aaron's gonna pick the car up and we're hoping that these springs loosen up so we can pull them out. We'll see what happens. All right, I think we're ready, dude. <laughs>
He woman. She man. She <laughs> <He> woman. <laughs> Difference, right? Whatever. <laughs> Just details. I don't have to get bogged down. It's amazing. Hi. Good. Hot man. Well, I'm not paying attention. I keep dropping my stuff. Hold on. Because we're reusing them? Yeah, put your nut on there. Okay. And run it up to where it's flush. Come look at this side. Okay. So when you hit it with a hammer, it doesn't mess the threads up. Okay. <laughs> Dang, that's loud. <laughs> it makes my ears ring. You wait. <laughs> Second class citizen. <laughs> and then you hand me the hammer. <laughs> that's not very <laughs> smart. She is. The old piece versus the new without the uh, mount on it. Yeah. Come two out. And it's in. No big Aaron, deal. Aaron's a boss. Just needed a little bit of lube and muscle. <laughs> That's all it takes. Get along. Finley! What are you doing, man? Are your leaf springs kind of in their groove? My coil At the... springs. <laughs> yeah, your coil, yeah. <laughs> your coil springs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love when I get to catch you on stuff like oh. that. You always do that to me. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, hold up. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Yeah. That's it, it's in its place. Yep. Dude, moving forward. Pretty much all done now. There's really no parts left on our table and that's really exciting. I freaking love it. Okay, it's time to torque some suspension bolts. I got this super sexy torque wrench in from Sonic and I'm real in love with it. It's super nice. Um, so, it's actually got uh, Newton meters and foot pounds on it. So it's pretty, pretty legit. I'm really excited to use it. And we installed all the suspension, but we've yet to torque any of it. So that's what we're going to do. I think I'll start with the pan hard bar. Pop on that thing. It's nice. Yeah, this one is good. Very intentional sound. It clicks like it means it. Yep. Cool. 
Suspension's done. We cannot wait to finish this beast so that we can go pound on it on Power Tour. Watch for that follow-up episode.